Hi, I'm uh, Tom Reyes, PIO, Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. We're here actually in Rescue 24 with EMS Captain Castro and Lieutenant Derringer. They were lucky enough to be the first crew to get full blood for Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. A little bit of the background on this was on July 30th at about 4 o'clock in the morning, Rescue 24 and EMS 23 were dispatched to a motor vehicle accident. Upon arrival, they found one vehicle against a pole with one victim inside. Uh, they arrived very quickly and within six minutes had extricated the patient. Three minutes after that, they were on their way to St. Mary's after identifying the patient as a trauma alert. And while en route, they gave old blood. So I'd like to pass it off to you guys and tell me how to call one. Sure. So uh, my name is uh, Adrian Castro, EMS Captain, Italian Z, Station 23. And uh, basically we were dispatched to a car versus pole. And en route, the NBT information provided to us from dispatch informed us that the patient was semi-conscious and that he was bleeding from the ear and from the arm. Understanding that we have whole blood on our unit, I proactively, prematurely set up the process at the back of Rescue 24 upon my arrival, trusting the assessment of the ground crew um, to inform me whether or not the patient needed blood. Lieutenant Derringer and uh, with Rescue 24 and uh, Captain Baker with Engine 24 arrived on scene first assessment the scene, assess the patient, and began extrication. Um, when we first arrived on scene, um, it was noticed the patient was in the uh, floorboard on the driver's side, and we noticed um, some movement and some breathing. So basically, we worked on extricating him and getting him out into the stretcher into the back of the truck. On him entering the, uh, on the patient entering the back of the truck, I had already prematurely set up, like I mentioned earlier, set up the saline process. We have to administer 250 cc's of saline uh, through the line, flush the line, and then we administer the blood. When the patient arrived in the back of the rescue, we quickly assessed him. So we went ahead and decided to go ahead and administer the blood since everything was already set up. So the rescue crew went ahead and established an IO to the uh, left humerus and we flushed the line with the 250 cc's of saline. We went ahead and uh, spiked the blood and we documented the time that we started. We took temperatures on the patient. We administered the uh, unit of blood uh, en route to St. Mary's Trauma Center. That process took probably approximately two to three minutes, I believe. And we documented the time that uh, the last infusion of the blood went in, along with the temps. We didn't see any differences in temperatures, which indicates the reaction. And upon our turnover at St. Mary's with the ER staff, everything went very smooth. The documentation was given to them. Uh, they acknowledged the receipt of us administering the blood and uh, we went back in service. Unfortunately, the patient uh, uh, prognosis wasn't well, but the administration of the blood went extremely well. From the time of the initial call until the time the patient was transfer transferred over to St. Mary's, it was 29 minutes, well underneath the golden hour. And that's exactly how we want to have this happen. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you.